What determines the type of wall surface used to create the clean room? What dictates the wall surface? Well, that's dictated by a lot of different things. It's di dictated by the cleanliness of the clean room, of course. It's dictated by whether static is an issue. And it's dictated by the cleaners you use to clean your clean room. In, in the most harsh clean room environments, which are the pharmaceutical type environments, and the where you use the pharma system, the surface has to hold up to very aggressive cleaners because they have to both clean and disinfect. And when you have to clean and you have to disinfect, you have to have cleaners that are very aggressive and have very caustic components to them. So the system that you pick, whether it's a UPVC or a painted aluminum or something along those lines, is dictated by what kind of cleaners you're gonna use and how do those surfaces hold up to those cleaners. Now, in environments like microelectronics or semiconductor systems where you use the fab line system, now that, what you're more concerned about there is, is it smooth, is it building up static, or is it dissipating static, which is really important. Those, so you, the fab line system is more related to having a conductive coating on the paint so that as the air washes across, you're not building up a static charge. Now, when you get to the clean line system, that's where the greatest variety of, of panel surfaces is available. And it's available because when you get to the, that system and you start talking about that system, that's when the cleanliness environment and the cost are, are influential. And that's when you look at what, what you really need from a cleanliness standpoint, what you're gonna use for cleaners, and what the cost that you wanna spend on that system dictates what panels you utilize from a vinyl coated panel all the way up to a conductive aluminum panel.